Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. In today's video, Mayor Derpy is in office, which means you get 50% more skill XP. And if you can do something 50% faster, sounds pretty good to me. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing with Spider Slayer today. I need to hit Combat 60. That is my goal. And in the process, I want to get Spider Slayer level 9. I'm just over level 8. So we have about 600,000 Tarantula XP to get. So I'm curious to see how long this will take. But if you're new here, don't forget to go and leave a like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Super quickly, though, if you do find yourself checking out the Hypixel store, don't forget to go and use my career code, code Zach. That is Z-A-C-H for an extra 5% off your purchase. It helps Helps out the channel a ton as well as myself and i do greatly appreciate each and every one of you who continue to use my code you guys are amazing but without further ado we have a long grind ahead of us so i'm currently in the end mining shiny nodes honestly for these endstone shulkers i get 15 skyblock xp if i get nine of them and combine them together for the power stone and these guys have been spawning dragons and they just did the superior which i leached first place on not gonna lie no one really doing too much damage in this lobby, and because of Derpy, the dragons have double health, and I just leached a superior dragon helmet, which is, like, the perfect thing that I could have leached. Let's go ahead and pick that up, um, and the reason why this is such a big deal, uh, not only did I just get a free piece of superior dragon armor, it's, like, the last piece I was basically missing. As you can see, I have a helmet, chestplate, leggings, and no boots to be seen. Uh, however... I have, I'm pretty sure, exactly 43 Superior Dragon Fragments, so that means we can go ahead and actually craft our last piece of Superior Dragon Armor, giving us the entire set. There we go. Full Superior Dragon Armor on the Iron Man profile, that's just, what a throwback this armor set is, honestly. It's, it's funny seeing it again, it really is. Um... Yeah, I mean, I, I can't really see too many situations where I'll be rocking that. However, we are going to go over to the museum, and we're going to place this Superior Dragon Armor set in. Uh, I didn't have the full set in here, obviously, and now we do. That's beautiful. So let's go ahead and uh, claim our 8 Skyblock XP. Don't mind if I do. Honestly, I kind of want to take the armor set out of the museum, just because I feel like it's a little bit of a flex, especially on Iron Man um so yeah maybe we'll just keep the set here for a while I, I i don't know i'll probably end up playing in my museum when there's another armor set i need to take its spot for but for now there it is in all of its glory full superior dragon armor on the iron man profile i've kind of been running around all morning doing various tasks for little amounts of skyblock xp just so i can see my level go up and that's exactly what's about to happen uh i'll give you guys a list of everything i've been up to but first uh by the way the fact that i don't have this menu max is honestly fraudulent I will get to it, I just don't feel like mining obby right now, but I happen to have like 4 stacks of enchanted in my sacks, so there we go. Skyblock level 272 baby, give me that 5 more Skyblock XP, don't mind if I do, still 2 more tiers on this guy, we'll, we'll get to him on another date. But yeah, basically just running around doing some minion upgrades that I happen to have the materials of, I upgraded an endstone minion to tier 11, had a bunch of enchanted endstone I didn't realize I had, so happily did that. Also learned a new uh, power stone that I unlocked. I was also running around the end mining shiny blocks for like a couple hours and i think i got unlucky i only got four endstone shulkers i need nine of these things to learn the power it's gonna give me a total of 15 skyblock xp for doing that so i want to get that out of the way but i think i'm just getting unlucky so i decided i'll try again later but yeah kind of just working on my level and there we go we leveled up and just like that i have now grinded for four summoning eyes uh you may be wondering why it is for the upgrade to the dragon sack so let's go ahead and take that out and a stack of crystal fragments why don't we i'm not sure how many i actually need put the crystal fragments there kind of like like this maybe if it'll let me put that there for summoning eyes there we go medium dragon sack beautiful let's go ahead and get that crafted and then, now we're going to go ahead and grab out four Dragon Horns. These give the Renowned Reforge. Uh, they sell for 6.2 mil right now. So, that's a lot of money that's going towards this. I don't know if this is enough Crystal Fragments either, but we'll find out. Go ahead and put these like this. Crystal Fragments. It is Large Dragon Sack. Beautiful. Don't mind if I do. We can now hold an actual ton of everything in here. 20,000 to be exact. And we can go ahead and lock this thing up until... So we need to grab something from it but beautiful we've maxed out 
the brand new sack, which is uh, always a good time. Only missing a couple things when the update rolled, but we finally got them. Um, I wasn't ready to record or um, anything really, but my plan is to do some Tarantula Slayer. Um, basically, I, I want to get Tarantula level 9, and this Slayer is super free, especially during Derby. And my first boss, I just casually drop a um, Tarantula Talisman. So, that's chill, right? That's like a normal thing to like get and stuff, right? I, I don't see why not. Um, yeah, kind of crazy, honestly. Also, these bosses just spawn so fast. Like, it's actually disgusting. But, yeah, Tarantula Talisman first boss of uh, doing this. I can't do anything with it. I didn't need one. But we got one now, so is what it is, I guess. Also, I don't know why some of these spires are blue. Not sure about that. But either way, kind of insane. I guess we just keep on going. I don't need any RNG drops from this. It's literally for just the Tarantula XP and... I mean, these bosses are so... It's 20... It's 17 kills right now for me. Which is, like, ridiculous. Look how fast I'm spawning these. This is so for Fly swap. What is going on? I've done, like, four bosses. What? I've done four bosses and got two RNG drops? I don't have an RNG meter set either. So, like, this isn't, like, sped up toward... That's just... Okay, well... I'll get back to uh, doing bosses. I'll cut back if we get any more RNG drops, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, this Slayer is going to be really fun. This is just Hype Simulator, which is honestly rather enjoyable. So we'll see how much money we, we go through with this. We're at 307 mil to start. We'll see what we get down to. So I don't even know how much XP later, maybe 60k. Uh, we got another uh, Tarantula Talisman again somehow. Um, <laughs> I remember actually struggling for my first Tarantula Talisman. So it's a little bit sad seeing them go this quickly. But, man, this grind is just so free I'm, I'm glad i'm doing this now i mean the spawns are two times as fast i get 50 percent more xp i planned on doing a little bit of combat albeit uh this is probably not the most efficient way to do combat being spiders it's just not the best for that however uh, i need combat nonetheless so i may as well do something that i planned on doing anyways i was kind of waiting for the next atrox to get this done but now we can do sven next time next atrox or something like that so yeah, really happy about that. I'm also like less than 6% to uh, combat 59, which is a big milestone. So 95% of the way there roughly. So that's pretty exciting. We should be getting that. I Maybe we'll get combat 60 this mayor. I don't know how much combat I'm going to do. I want to do a little bit of fishing as well. Max skills are just so close and within reach. It's kind of worth just like focusing on that for a little bit. Just get that done. It's, it's at the end of the day, just free stats. So may as well take advantage of that. But let's go ahead and sell um toxic arrow poison again also am, is my sack full on string it is okay we need to sort that out i guess um i guess when i get two and a half stacks i'll just put it in my personal compactor there's so many so many mobs here um yeah i mean this is just such a free grind i don't know how long i've been doing this for but we've already gone up like 60k um spider slayer xp which is insane and the reason why i don't have an rng meter set is i'm actually just saving up all that stored xp for when they inevitably add a uh, tier 5 and uh, tier 5 slayer and level 8 and 9 proper rewards and recipes so figured i may as well save it for that but um yeah that's kind of the game plan with that either way just tearing through these and uh so far we've gotten two tarantula talismans which is kind of mental. So we'll take it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to keep on going at it. So a couple of exciting things. Uh, any second now, we will actually finally be hitting combat level 59. There it is. 30 skyblock XP, 800,000 coins, a little bit more crit chance, and a uh, whole percent more damage to mobs, which actually adds up over time. So happy to have that out of the way. However, when I was also doing uh, Tarantula Slayer, I've been killing Arachne's Keepers a decent amount, and I finally got an Arachne's Cloak, which was actually the piece of equipment I was missing for the entire set. So let me try and get some more safe. We go ahead and take a look in here. I have every single piece except for the cloak, which I guess I do now have. So I can finally go ahead and take this entire armor set. Let's warp over to the museum really quickly. We're going to go ahead and hand this in, and honestly, I'm probably never going to take it out again, but... There we go, the entire set, the entire armor pieces, the necklace, cloak, belt, and gloves. Let's turn those in. Beautiful. That is a little bit more Skyblock XP. I've been missing that cloak for seriously like forever. Wow. Okay, the one upgrade in the museum is plus eight special item slots. No XP this time around. That is tragic. 
For the amount of time that one took, I feel like I should get some bonus XP just because. So I was doing more Tarantula Slayer. I was expecting to get another one of these, but I already have one. I still need to craft a uh, Mosquito Bow, but I just dropped another Digestive Mosquito. For those of you who don't know, it's the rarest drop from Tarantula Slayer. I got one way back, uh, May 24th of 2021, so nearly two full years ago now. But yeah, I, I mean, we got a second one. I was expecting to get some drops on my way to uh, Tarantula Level 9, but... You don't really expect to see too many digestive mosquitoes. And there we go. We've literally gotten nearly every RNG drop from uh, Tarantula Slayer today already, which is kind of ridiculous. So I've just been continuing to do a ton of Tarantula Slayer. It's the next morning now. I went to bed and currently we are not too far away, honestly, from Spider Slayer level 9. About 234,000 more uh, Tarantula XP, which would be a ton in any Slayer except for... Tarantula Slayer, I can probably finish this out in one sitting. It's just a matter of, are we going to be Terra level 9 by the time I'm done this video? So, I might clickbait you guys and say I'm Terra level 9 and finish it by the time the video goes up. But I don't know if I'll actually be able to get the clip of completing it in today's video. It's one of those situations. However, I wanted to cut back in to uh, kind of show you guys our progress on the RNG drops. Literally been getting so many that I've kind of stopped recording them. I've gotten four tarantula talismans, three fly swatters, and a digestive mosquito, as you guys have seen. Just a ton of uh, Bane of Arthropod 6 books. I've been selling a ton of toxic arrow poisons. I Once my inventory fills up a good amount, I go ahead and sacrifice these or salvage them for essence. And uh, yeah, we literally have almost a stack and a half of Arachne's Callings, four travel scrolls. It's honestly kind of been a little bit ridiculous. And I've also leveled up my G-Drag a couple times while doing this in the last 24 hours. So that's really nice as well. Currently, my G-Drag is sitting at level 135. I want to say it was 132 or 133 when I started uh, the Terra 9 grind. And then in terms of our combat level, as you can see, we're 27% already to combat 60. Considering we just recently hit combat 59, that's pretty good in my opinion. I wonder if I'm close to any of the bestiaries too, because I've been killing so many of these things. Keepers, not so much. The broods, I'm really close. I may as well try and finish that off, but some of these other spider ones, uh, kind of close, I guess. You know, like another 800-ish on some of those. So, yeah, it's all coming together. Um, I mean, I'm going to be doing a ton more of this, so I'm sure we'll see those bestiary milestones hit, but... Yeah, just gonna keep going at it. These bosses are so fast, it's actually ridiculous. It is time. After genuinely hours of killing spiders, keep in mind, this grind really wasn't that bad, but that spider right there is the last one we need. I turned off Auto Slayer for the last boss just so we could kind of claim our rewards together. My goodness, that was a sickening amount, though, of uh, Tarantula Slayer, but it, ha it had to be done. It really did. There we go. Spider Slayer, level 9. Uh, why? Oh, this is Enderman. Uh, oops, I'm kind of just used to clicking on that one. Reach max level. We can go ahead and claim level 9 for 3 crit damage and 150 Skyblock XP. I'm level 272 right now. This should take me to 274. There we go. 274, two level ups uh, back to back right there from that 150 Skyblock XP, which you do just love to see. We'll have to wait for the leaderboard to update, but... Man, we are six levels from that Divine Prefix, which I'm so, so excited for. And uh, now we're done Tarantula Slayer. It's complete. And in the process, we were able to get four Tarantula Tal... Actually, let's include the previous RNG drops I have from the Slayer. Uh, six Tarantula Talismans, if you count the one I have in my accessory bag. Two dig Digested Mosquitoes. Five Fly Swathers. A ridiculous load of Toxic Arrow Poison, which I've been selling, which has been making this loss not feel as bad of a uh, negative investment so many uh bane of arthropod six books it's actually disgusting i also dropped the tarantula pet a little bit earlier today tons of arachne pieces um i mean yeah look at all these bane six books and i have like another double chest on the island my slayer sack actually filled up twice with tarantula webs so i've been clearing it out into chests on my island if we go over to my island really quickly i literally have just double chest upon double chest of uh tarantula web as you can see all these chests here literally all just stuffed with uh tarantula webs so that's that's fun but yeah man we're done look at all the drops we got it's actually disgusting and what i am glad that i did though is i have so much rng meter uh spider slayer xp saved up now for when they inevitably add a tier 5 to this and new drops uh if we go ahead and look at my boss or where can you see 
your oh RNG meter right here. Yeah, so I have six hundred and thirty-two thousand XP saved up, which is nearly how much that just mosquito is, but that is a sizable amount of XP saved up. So whenever they add something, we'll have a good head start towards it at least. I could literally get two tarantula talismans for free or two fly swathers. Obviously, not gonna be wasting on that, but decent amount of RNG mirror saved up, which is always nice. And uh just like that, we are now done with Tarantula Slayer. There's some things I want to craft, such as the Mosquito Bow. I wouldn't mind crafting one of those. I also somehow don't have a full Tarantula Armor set, so I'll do that really soon just for the museum, I guess. Uh, maybe a Scorpion Foil. Obviously, we want to craft some Fly Catchers in the future, considering we have five of these things, five of the Fly Swars now. So, yeah, some other things to do in the future, but either way, we are max uh, Spider Slayer XP for the time being. In the process, I also went up a couple of Bestiary tiers that I unlocked. I'm also 57% to my next combat level. I do still want to try and get this, this Derpy. We'll see what I decide to grind, though. Not really sure what to focus on. Went up a couple of milestones, though. We got Spider Jockey I just leveled up. Weaver Spider I leveled up. Voracious Spider we leveled up. Splither spiders we didn't get the 10k with um then there was dasher spiders we leveled up and yeah i think that's about it i killed a bunch of arachnes keepers but we didn't level this one up either i do have a lot of kills to begin with of those arachne broods i'm still so close i should probably go do that but yeah a bunch of bestiary stuff in terms of our golden dragon now it's level 138 which is kind of ridiculous i i want to say it was like Somewhere between 132 to 134 when I started. I genuinely can't remember, but early 130s, and now it's level 138, almost 50% to 139. So, decent amount of pet XP as well. And, uh, yeah, overall, it was pretty chill. Enjoyable Slayer. I like how quick it is. And, honestly, I hope they add a Tier 5 Tarantula Slayer in the future. So, unfortunately, obviously, that is all the time I have for today's episode. Genuinely was doing Spire Slayer for hours on end, uh, nonstop. So, Happy that it's done. Um, enjoyed the process, though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little mini uh, follow-along of me getting Spire Slayer 9 in a day, which is kind of ridiculous. Nearly got like 600,000 XP in like a 12-hour period. So kind of insane. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go and leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't new around here. Don't forget to use code Zach when checking out on the Hypixel store. Save yourself 5% and join my Discord. Link in the description. But without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.